Hey guys, Alexander Williamson here with the secret history living inside of your aquarium. Today's a little secret slash tip that I just wanted to show you because I've had questions asked frequently about it. And the question is, how can you tell when a shrimp has died versus when it has molted? Because some, sometimes when you're keeping shrimp and you're new at it, you look at something like this and it looks like an entire shrimp that's dead right you see all the shrimp pretty much right there and it looks as though it sh it's it's dead right but if you look at this one it's done it pretty perfectly and that's why i decided to make the video now you can see the split in its carapace or where it, sh it shed its shell um and you can see that that's that same joint that in this shrimp, I'm trying to put my fingernail right on it, right here, you'll see them uh, flex and try to stretch that joint over and over again when they're getting ready to molt. You'll see them curl up into a little, uh, little C formation almost. Let's see, right here. Um, and sometimes if they're unsuccessful in molting or if it's taking a while, you'll see... Um, that split. So right there you can see that might be the one that just came out because you can see the two different colors of red and the red is split right right where the opening is there. So if you were to push that little flap of a piece of that uh, exoskeleton back down that's right exactly where the change occurs. So that's just a little tip that if you see a spot where it broke open right in the side there, they kind of come out of their shell in this funky little dance uh, where they, they climb out, they fold themselves in half and kind of climb out of the center of the back. So you'll, you'll usually find a tear there, or sometimes they'll have to tear the, the headpiece off, but you'll always see the tail intact and then the legs usually they slip out of those pretty easily too um, and then it tears somewhere along the back now if you find a whole dead shrimp what you're gonna see is a lot more milky color and they do usually get eaten or uh, what's the word decay pretty quickly and the way you can tell that if you get to it quickly is you'll be able to tell it was a shrimp it'll look kind of gooey off color usually they kind of turn orangish even if they're no matter what type of shrimp but if you get it quick enough it'll be the same color as the shrimp was while alive but then they kind of turn this brownish orangish tan clear color and you'll be able to sometimes uh, tell that now it could be possible that something picks at the back and also you can see that same split, but usually it's going to look like the entire shrimp, just kind of like this does with the legs and everything, um, but the head will be really intact, whereas the head they try to wriggle out of when they are shedding their exoskeleton. So you can also see that split in color. Um, right by the saddle of this shrimp here. So they they definitely all have that that spot, which is kind of their sweet spot of where they crack open. And so this is definitely right here, the one that shed, um, just because I can see all the different colors. And they'll be really sensitive for a while once they've shed. If this was not just a uh, red fire only tank, of just shrimp with no fish, you would not be seeing the one that had shed most recently um, around at all. They would usually hide for a while. So a lot of times when you move shrimp, they, they shed, and uh, this is a common occurrence. These guys have been in here for, oh, a week now, I guess, and so I've been finding a lot of sheds. Now, when you find a shed, last little tip is don't pull it out, leave it in there because it has calcium and nutrients, it has chitin and things that the uh, other shrimp may want, or that the shrimp sometimes itself, when it crawls out, will start to eat it again um, because they can just reabsorb that really easily. Um, and then another good cue is if all your other shrimp are acting normal and they're swimming around and doing their own thing, it, it, there's a pretty good chance that it's not a dead shrimp. Uh, 
but that's not a surefire way by any means. But if the, the colony looks healthy and active, uh, it's another clue that, that your shrimp are probably okay. But I'm trying to see if right here he was kind of flicking his tail for a sec like he was going to do the little stretch. But so I hope that helps you guys a little bit. Um, on a side note, under here is my yellow shrimp. And she's a female, and she's real pregnant. And so basically I separated her from her colony because the colony was full of fish that she's in. And so I'm going to let her hatch out in this tank. Um, and then I'll pull her out the day that I see that there's hatchlings. And I check twice a day at least on this tank. Um, and so then I'll move her out immediately. It's a very small five gallon tank and then I'll get all her babies out. And there's not, like you can see here, I can pull out or move most of the decor and you have about three months to pull the babies out. But that way they're not going to impregnate the red ones right now. It's just one that I'm dealing with. So she'll probably have, you know, a dozen babies or so, maybe 20 and uh, it won't be that big of a deal to try to figure out uh, where they went. So that's just a little tip. Uh, that's not how you do professional breeding by any means because you don't want to risk that contamination of the gene pool. But it works just fine for hobbyists um, and folks like me who just want, uh, you know, a good, a good strain. And uh, most of the time you can catch all of them uh, in the tank if it's a small tank like this. Now if it's a tank that's all planted like this, oh, forget it. There's there's no hope in trying to figure out which one is which and who who mixed with who. So whom. <laughs> all right guys, we'll take it easy. I hope this helps alleviate some stress uh for especially new shrimp owners. So take care. Take care of your fish and I will talk to you later. Swim on.